spending the Labor Day weekend floating down the river with your friends listening to some music. Literally listening to music on the river. Fork Fest is this weekend. QC Life's Jorge Andres is live along the Catawba River in McCaddenville today. Good morning, Jorge. I'm so interested in this event. Good morning, Kristen. Yeah, I mean, I'm blown away after I did a little bit of research on what this event was. I really knew that I had to come out here and get a first-hand look at Fork Fest, a two-day festival, and that's why I'm joined here by the river keeper himself, the keeper of the river, if you will, the Catawba River Keeper, Brandon Jones. And Brandon, uh, first of all, let's talk about Fork Fest. Um, this is what year of the festival and how did it go from concept to reality? Yeah, so this is our second year highlighting the South Fork of the Catawba River. So this is the second or the largest um, tributary of the Catawba. And you know, our office is right here in McCaddenville. We're on the banks of it. And you know, most people that grew up in this area, myself included, didn't even know that this was here. It's a wonderful resource. We've been paddling it. We wanted to get more people out here, more people to actually see this wonderful resource. And we've got the two towns, you know, which are heavily involved in protecting the river through the South Fork Collective. So last year was our first try, like, you know, can we do this? Can we do something different? Can we actually have a concert on the water? and we jury rigged it together and it was a huge success. So tell me a little bit about the story of two towns, one river. How did Cramerton, McCaddenville come together uh, to not only have this great event, but grow it into the second year and help out the Catawba River? Yeah, so when you're in downtown Cramerton and downtown McCaddenville, like we're, we're on the banks, it's the highlight. You know, it's not like over there on the side, the towns are actually built around that. You know, this was the lifeblood of the area for all the mills. And so, you know, as those mills have left, towns have been looking for a way to kind of re-energize uh, areas and, and revitalize um, this, you know, this wonderful resource. And so, again, last year was our, our first effort to do it, and it went really well. And we were like, okay, how can we make this bigger? How can we make this better? And so now we've got, you know, Chatham County Line and a lot more. Um, events and uh, a lot more musicians. So outside of the music, which we will get to in the concert, what else can people enjoy when they come to Fork Fest this coming weekend? Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit for everyone. Now we start off the morning with a trail run or a guided hike, depending on your preference. Um, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of local artists and artisans out here if you want to uh, try your hand at some painting. Um, there's going to be tons of children's activities, and including a children's drum circle. Uh, you don't have to come for that though, if that's not your thing. Um, that'll be from 11 to 12. Um, and then obviously the music Music. And then uh, we've got a lot of beer from all local breweries. All the water that uh, makes this beer is actually from the Catawba River. So, yeah, let's talk about that now. Who benefits from this? Obviously, it's the Catawba River. The river room here, the slogan is uh, cleaning up the river one beer at a time. Jordan, if you pan over here, these taps over here, these beers, tell me about them and how they are part of the Catawba River. Yeah, so good beer needs good water. Um, and all of, the, all of our areas, you know, Charlotte, Mecklenburg, City of Gastonia, they all pull water from the Catawba River itself. And so uh, all the water uh, that makes that beer actually comes from right out here. Um, you know, obviously it's filtered and cleaned and goes through that process. Um, but it's critical to have that really good source water in order to have, you know, our breweries succeed. Now, at the end of the day, for people that want to come to the festival, uh, what do they have to do? How much are tickets? What's registration like? Take me through that process. Yeah, so almost everything is free. So you can show up for any of the, the bands that are on land or any of the children's activities, the runs, the hikes, any of that stuff is just free. Um, come, and there's plenty of information about where to park and where to go on the website. If you want to do the floating class or the floating concert, um, that is a $30 ticket. Um, we were also renting, uh, but all the rentals are actually sold out now, which is wonderful. Um, um, so hopefully if you or your friend have a canoe or a kayak or a raft, um, it's easy access to get down there and those are $30. And you were part of this last year, you're part of it again this year. Where do you see the ceiling here of Fork Fest, something that's two years in now that is only going to continue to grow as the years progress? Yeah, so there's a, a very large field out there and it really has, it's new. Uh, that was an old mill building that's now been, been torn down, uh, then replanted. And so we've got a lot of space to grow here. Um, the river itself, is is very wide and so we can fit a lot more people on it. Um, this year we're going to have you know, instead of a, a five raft but a six raft stage and we're going to continue to grow that uh, you know if it continues to succeed. If there's one thing uh, people should know when they when they walk through here and get ready for this fork fest that they can take home with them what would that be? I think uh, this is not just another concert, uh, this is for a cause. And so the South Fork and our water is critically important to all of us. And if you come here, you can have a great day and support a really important resource. 
At the end of the day, it's a two-day event here, the Fork Fest, uh, connecting two towns with just one river, the Catawba River, of course, and the Catawba River uh, being the beneficiary of this great stuff, uh, not just through the concert, but through its beer. Cleaning up uh, the river is something that's very important here uh, in our community. And again, it gets started uh, tomorrow, I'm sorry, uh, Saturday, that is, and runs for two days. And at the end of the day, we will talk about that floating concert because the wheels are turning Brandon and I'm still trying to figure out how exactly does someone watch a concert while floating down the river I'll explain it just ahead Chris yeah I think all of our wheels are turning Jorge thank you so much we'll see you in a few minutes